Dave Angus. I'm the President and CEO of the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce. And on March 8th, 2013, we will turn 140 years old. I mean, what a history we have as an organization and as a city. I mean, starting with the fur trade back with the Hudson Bay Company. This region was a center for fur traders and free traders from around the world. Between Fort Douglas and Fort Gibraltar, and what is roughly now known as the corner of Portage and Maine. This was the beginning of Winnipeg's business community. And in 1868, one J.A. Ashdown, one individual, opened up a tiny tin shop, 16 feet by 18 foot room with a stock value of $1,000, which represented the first recorded industrial activity of any consequence. And then a year later, Archibald Wright opened up a saddlery shop. And it was these two manufacturing plants that were among the 18 places of business existing in Winnipeg in 1869. But it didn't stop there. In the next three years, from 1870 to 1873, this little hamlet grew from 215 souls to over 3,000, with over 900 buildings, 100 of which were mercantile houses, and property within village limits that was assessed at over $2 million. And it was at that time, that city leaders decided we need a board of trade. We need an organization that represents the best interests of the business community and proudly through the act of incorporation that was passed and given royal assent by the Lieutenant Governor on March 8th, 1873, the Winnipeg Board of Trade, the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce was born. What a history. And the Board of Trade since then has been the one constant, the pillar through the ups and downs, through two world wars, through the stock market crash, the depression, the 1919 strike, through the floods and disasters, the opening of the Panama Canal, the CF-18 crisis, all of these elements were ones that the Board of Trade, in partnership with the City of Winnipeg, went through and dealt with. From the fur trade, to agriculture, to manufacturing, to biotech, the Chamber has been there. And this year we want to spend some time, some time looking back. We want to open up the archives one of the oldest in Canada. As we look back, we will see a common thread, something that has not changed from 1873 to 2013, and that is a thread of passion, a passion that our businesses and business leaders have had for their organizations, for their community, and for each other. Ladies and gentlemen, celebrate with us as we celebrate 140 years of great history of the Winnipeg Chamber of Commerce.